Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans for tonight's main event. Ten rounds. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for ten. Throughout your training career, what did you consistently feel more comfortable with? Training the shorter guy against the taller guy or the taller guy against the shorter guy? Well, you can't teach tall. You know what? That's there or not. I love to have those kind of advantages physically. You just have to make sure that you teach them to fight tall. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Nice work by Mike Tyson. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Goes up top with a right hand. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Targeting a left hand down low. And once again, he returns fire up top. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And that's the end of round one. Mike Tyson has been in this game long enough to understand what has to happen now. Winning this fight. Come off a round in which your opponent got to you and got to you well. You have to bounce back. A crushing two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Solid left hand to the head. What an impact that left hand just made by Johnson. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better... Oh, big shot there. That shot crashes in, and now he crashes to the canvas. Your jab, you get sent to the campus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tyson's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Precise at all by Johnson. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Mike Tyson's defense is paying off now. that punch. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Johnson. Tyson's hurt bad by a right hand. Did you see that? You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson floored by the power punch. Get up! Get up! So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out. 
as Tyson is getting himself back up on his feet. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, like that, you want to like actually that. use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've been overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Mike Tyson just coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. There's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Off the target by Johnson. 90 seconds to go here in this round. In the crosshairs of a right hand, left hook combination. Circle, circle! Mike Tyson, good use of the jab. The left hand coming into play by Johnson. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Body shot with the right hand. Digging in with a left to the gut. Right back to the work up top. Like the way he was able to hook to the gut there. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Lands a big hook. And this round comes to an end. He's out working. Start around number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Johnson's trailing by a round, but in all honesty, Teddy, he's very much in this fight, having scored a knockdown. Having scored a knockdown on the cards, but also mentally knowing he can hurt his opponent. Double jab right to the face. Tyson's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Johnson. Johnson's punch is far off the target. Scores well to the belt line again. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Way through this round here. Johnson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Clever hook there by Mike Tyson. Well targeted two punch combo by Johnson. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. an impactful right hand by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Well, as that round comes to an end, he gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. 
Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Good return fire that time. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Johnson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Good step back counter punch there. That straight right unable to connect. Tyson's back by a left hand. Let's keep fighting, just let's go. What a big shot. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desire and heart is just as strong as it was before. The ref is stopping this fight. Johnson's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. Welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Mike Tyson's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. One of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fighter. for 10 rounds tonight between these two. How does the power puncher actually use the jab to close the gap against this outside fighter? How does he employ that strategy? So I think it's a little bit like if you're a carpenter and you're making a table, you take your measuring stick out and you see how much wood you need, how long the table is. Well, same thing, if you're a fighter who wants to get inside with a boxer, you got to see how much distance you have to close. If there's a lot of distance, you need three, two jabs. One is not going to work. Come 
punch right back at him with a left hand. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Good combination to the body. Tyson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Muhammad Ali's combination punching is working well here. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. Scored well with the left downstairs. Jab called by the straight by Muhammad Ali. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Bell rings, signifying the end of the round. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to go. You have to keep distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip this punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Underway. Come Comes right on. back at him with a left hand. Protecting his head well with his guard. Ali's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Was not well targeted by Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Finish with the hook. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Yeah. Oh, well, Muhammad Ali get... blocks that punch. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Lands the counter. There's another right hand. Muhammad Ali's jacked up by an uppercut. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Solid right by Muhammad Ali. A stinging uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Up top with the right hand. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Your aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent does not. You need to capitalize on his face, okay? I want to see that count up. Make the tape for his Underway. Let's see some more Comes right back with some offense of his own. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching.
off target with that hook. Good shot to the head with that right hand. As if the right hand wasn't enough, how about that accurate left hook he just landed to the midsection? Tyson stunned by that shot. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down. And now Tyson's losing a point here. He headbutted again. The referee's seen enough. He's taken away a point. Tyson was hurt. Now Tyson looks to have his feet back underneath him. Yeah, but does he have his mind right? Is he still going to be the sick and destroy fighter that he's been before? Good way to protect the midsection. Well, that's exactly what he deserves. The ref getting involved, warning him for the head. Tyson scoring with that right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Ali's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Well-placed shot. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Ali's done it again. Another head clash here. And that headbutt is going to cost him. The referee is deducting a point saying that was intentional. Takes one but gets one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's nose is now starting to bleed. Keep showing the way from that power. Keep moving side to side, all right? Nice work, kid. Good job in that round. <laughs> much better, much better. That was good. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. Scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Ali's nailed by a huge hook. Mike Tyson's completely missing the jab, and when that's not there, Oh, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now oh, that's like saying I want to go swimming. Guess what? There's no water. Watch the <laughs> you need water to swim. Yeah, you need jab to fight to I'm set up. things up. A sound combination oh, by Mike Tyson. Ali's able to avoid that punch. Hey, Hits him in the mug with the go. right. Let's go. by Muhammad Ali on the outside. Staying out there at that safe zone, but still scoring on his own. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. Good work defensively by Muhammad Ali. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Unable to connect by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Mike Tyson. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. There's the old one-two. Stay away from no And this round comes to an end. The greatest is defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that footwork. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Another 
another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Mike Tyson's hit by that power shot. Solid right hands headline that exchange. Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Watch that. Coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Oh, keep your feet moving. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Ali's defense is now serving him. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, precise and painful. The hook puts him down. spirit of Muhammad Ali. You're not going to get rid of him that fast. Ali looking to make a comeback after being knocked down. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. That's a big right hand. Just what he needed, the bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it, there's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is, you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. You're fighting this fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. The start of the sixth round. Mike Tyson's corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope. Ali's in a bad place right now, and yet another big shot comes in. This isn't the Ali we are used to seeing. He has been down multiple times tonight. The question is, will this fight even continue? So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good block by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's right hand scores well that time. Ali's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets... There it is! It was a big shot that Florida. A big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. So Muhammad Ali is able to beat the count. He's going to try to continue on, but he doesn't look good. No, but a guy that has lived his life like he has, who has talked, who has said all the things, there's something you're not seeing right now. It's inside him. He will show what's inside him. He will find a way to hold on. He will find a way to survive. Come on, get 
Mike Tyson's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Wow! Knocked down again! Unreal! Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? get to a title you want to be successful but you want to make Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis. fight like his opponent has B.O., body on, you know, and he just wants to stay away from him, and he's going to use that jab as a fan. Well, not a fan, but sort of a measuring stick, a separation stick. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Steady, obviously, we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power what? puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What an excellent two-punch combo by Lewis. hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being okay. Oh! Mike Tyson is on his pants. Iron Mike's got to get back up. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Nice combo by Mike Tyson. Get him, get him. 
Lewis is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punt. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motives. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Tyson's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who is knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that smart some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. To the jab. Right hand downstairs. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Lennox Lewis. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Lewis. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Mike Tyson's doing well here with that two punch combination. I want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? And round number three is underway. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Mike Tyson. Lewis able to block that and then counter back with a power punch. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. A headshot blocked. Little head knocking with that right hand. Solid counter punch by Mike Tyson. Scores up top with a left. Jab with a straight, classic combination. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Fine combo there, right hand followed by the left hook. No need to be on the inside. Lewis has got a little something coming back at him, a counter punch score. Tyson's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab in the right distance. Combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And that's the end of round three. Interesting early rounds of this fight. Lewis is up two rounds to one on your scorecard, Teddy. What do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got to win. Come on. Nice hit right after catching one by Lewis. And now he's targeting upstairs. Got him. He got hit right there.
but he also gave one. Solid effort by Lennox Lewis. Protect yourself! Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's real. Tyson's dazed after that punch. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. Tyson rises up after going down here today. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. And they're sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good job on the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Lewis is getting a big reminder here. The evening is not over. The job is not finished. Go out and keep at it. times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. Watch the hook! Blocks that belt line well. Circle him! Move! Move! He missed with that headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Tyson's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Good defense, just covering up down low. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lewis. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Lennox Lewis. Yeah, like running through the ring without getting wet. Beautiful. Showing you some defense there with the block. Tyson's almost as if he's scared to throw punches right now, that he's just thinking strictly about defense after being tagged earlier in this fight. Well, he needs some help in his corner. That's where a good corner comes in right now. They have to straighten his mind out right now. They have to give him another way of attack. They have to give him a Plan B. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Right hand followed by a very well-placed left hook to the body. Look at that! I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Lewis. Pulls the trigger right away with the left 
left hand after getting tagged himself. Tyson putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Able to show you his blocking ability. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes... But he sends it right back. And round six comes to an end. Lewis is well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Lewis is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing him because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Lewis's punch didn't come close. I like how he doubles up that jab by Mike Tyson. He scored well after being hit himself. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. Lennox Lewis has got to do a better job. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Picture perfect combination, and he is floored. Well, the old times would say you can hit a guy with two. Why hit him with one? So Lewis gets up to continue, but he does not look good. Well, every fighter knows he's going to be in this situation where you're going to have to survive. It's the turn for Lewis to show he knows how. It's doing well. Let's get him some water. Take a deep breath. Relax. Don't get careless, okay? Don't get 
Let's look at Teddy's scorecard to open up round number eight here. Tyson's down. That seems pretty obvious. Worse than that, though, I don't think he can stay in there. I don't think he's got what it takes to mount a comeback. Unless he suddenly realizes what a fighter is supposed to be all about. That's what it is. What is a fighter? A guy that throws jabs? A guy that throws right hands? A guy that pivots when he throws a punch? No, it's a guy that overcomes. It's a guy that finds a way. He's got to find that way now. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Lewis is basically doing exactly what we've always seen out of him, and that's after he's been knocked down and affected in this fight. Yeah, you know, there comes a time you have to make adjustments. That time has come for him. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Got him! Not able to land the headshot. Tyson's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Locks away that headshot. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Lennox Lewis. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Mike Tyson starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mike Tyson. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Tyson's combination punching is working well here. He just missed that shot up top. Let's see some defense. Hey. Move, move. Oh. Relax. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Right back to it to the head. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. That was a miss by Lewis. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. They've met up for nine straight. Now the tenth and final round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Tyson's 
movement helped out there. He avoided that punt. Nice work with the combination by Mike Tyson. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Tyson's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three punch combination score. Oh, what a left hand. Big shot. Throw the scorecards out. Mike Tyson's down and looks to be out. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. BA Sports presents 12 rounds of boxing. Mike Tyson's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers him. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see. What should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight, can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? Scores well to the head with the right hand. Mike Tyson is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Nice. Ali blocks it. Nice. Halfway through round number one. Ali's landed a good solid combination. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Yeah, that's it. Muhammad Ali's tagged by that power punch. Not one.
one but two. Good work with the jab up top. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left, and then going up top with the right. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Last 10 seconds. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Tyson's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. Good job with three flush punches by Muhammad Ali. And he returns on that exchange. Accurate with the straight left. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Halfway through round number two. Ali's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. A hammering hook to the head by Muhammad Ali. Final 60 seconds after two minutes of pure fury. Muhammad Ali's left working well that time. Once again to the head. And all of a sudden the tables turn. And bang and away he goes. Ali is rough. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's going to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Watch the headshot. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head. Keep your hands up. You know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing. If you train for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Carries the punch, puts one in there. Ali's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Effective counter punching. Blocks it away. Overhand right. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Working his way on the outside and working well. He just stunned it. Solid, perfectly executed combination. Ali's down. He's going to have to beat the count. to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, 
now he's got to survive. No, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Gets rid of that body shot. Flush right hand to the body. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? Nice work out Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break from this guy. You hear me? Yeah, I need that. Let's go He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard here as we start round number four. And he's a volume puncher, and that's exactly what he's doing to bank away these early rounds here, Teddy. Yeah, he's not hurting him with any of those shots. And quite honestly, a lot of them are missing. But the other guy's not staying up with him with the punch numbers. He's winning the round. Ali's a seasoned pro. And old pros tend to fall into the same patterns. Nothing has changed with him stylistically since he's been knocked down in this fight. Well, that falls right into that pattern or that cliche where old dogs can't be taught new tricks. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, and now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. That's just not good defense. It appears that Mike Tyson has weathered that storm. Yeah, you're right, Joe, he has. But my question is, what about the damage that the storm did? Does that start to show itself? In other words, does Tyson get a little tentative now? That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Iron Mike with an iron right. Oh, and there you go. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Mike Tyson's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Round four comes to an end. Tyson's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using illegal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Teddy, this is like a horror film in this ring right now. There's blood everywhere coming from that cut. Yeah, well, the only thing that matters right now is Freddy Krueger needs to throw a good left hook. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there's some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A clean, crisp right hand by Muhammad Ali. Good step back. Solid. He never saw that coming. Ali's knocked down by a punch that came from out of left field. That was like Haley's Comet. You won't be seeing that again for about 10 years. It's over. 
over. This fight is over. Tyson's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. A showcase of power punching by Mike Tyson. This fight is now over. And thankfully it is because he's taken too much and you gotta wonder about the repercussions down the road. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Johnson's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornerman, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Mike Tyson's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight.
two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. Johnson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Just naping up with that uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. What? He gives what? as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Look at the mess in the ring right now. Johnson's cut is just painting himself. Yeah, it's a good thing. At least we think that judges are not influenced by the way a fighter looks. Because if they were, no rounds are going in his favor. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Mike Tyson. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. He comes with a straight right hand. Tyson's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. That right hand over the top lands flush. I want to see a double up to jabs, then the right set. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice strike after catching one by Meldrick Johnson. Ooh. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Tyson's putting forth a great combination there. Missed the body shot. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A crushing two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. I like that step back right there. Just enough. Referee gives him the warning for the headbutt. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Johnson. Halfway through this round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Johnson. Good job staying away from the danger there. Tyson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fashion your seatbelt, more turbulence ahead. That's a momentum changer upstairs. Scored well up top. Johnson's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab. And now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past him. Three in a row landing by Johnson. Meldrick Johnson's feeling the impact of a big counterpunch. And that's the end of round two. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad cut and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling and he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice, he's hoping to come up with seven. Right hand, left hook to the body. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh! That is it. Gone. See ya. You are done. Out of here. Fight over. One punch over. able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot.
that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. A little volume punching to the body there. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. the bad end of a plus solid hook. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Good fighting, snapping shot by Mike Tyson. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say, when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Oh, keep your feet moving. Right to the body. Effective with that one-two. In and out, in and out. Woo! Teddy, early on in a fight, I will often turn to you and ask you what's the one thing we should look for out of this fighter. But in his case, I think it's pretty obvious, right? It's the jab. Yeah, more importantly, it's obvious to him. He understands that. You know, he understands he's not real strong in other areas. So he understands he has to be really good in this area. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Yeah. Oh, he just jab. misses with that headshot. Head Red on action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Washington and Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took Double a step up, backwards, jam. kept just going like forward. That, just like really that. brought it that time. A four-punch combination. Flush right hand Keep to the head. Missed that uppercut. Oh, that's got to hurt. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. a lucky break saved by the bell here at the end of the round teddy yeah right away you're thinking you know where do i spend my time right now you want to tell him things that can help him but he is really groggy right now so you got to get him clear-minded first don't play. mike tyson's trying to clear his head now he was knocked down in that last round but I don't know if he's fully back, just sitting on that stool. Doubles up the jab. Circle hit, move, move! He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. One, two jabs up top. Good scoring counter 
punch by Mike Tyson. Good right hand. Muhammad Ali's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Well off the mark by Muhammad Ali. Ali's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Solid hook. And now he scores well with a straight right. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Hit the bot. Tyson's left landing well. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Nice work. And nice now work. they're trading blows. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He gets off with a combination up top. Tyson's able to land a good, solid left hand. And that's the end of round two. Ali's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Mike Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Blocks it away. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in before he can get started. Two good jabs by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's jack by an uppercut. Little head hunting with the left. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He missed with that head shot. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right big shot there. Well, we've seen Mike Tyson in a spot like this before. Remember, he once rose up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. Can he do it here? Tyson's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And that's the end of round three. Good job in that round. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time, Clint, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans who used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels. And they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. What an excellent two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. He took a step back, landed the counter. Exactly what he wanted to do. No, he missed that right. Good flush shot upstairs. 
Tyson is not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes the guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Punching now scoring well by Mike Tyson. That hook was well off the mark. The end to another very entertaining round and what has been a very a fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. What a shooting hook that was by Mike Tyson. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Right to the belt line. Mike Tyson's opponent landing an effective counterpunch right there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Muhammad Ali. Unable to score with the hook. And Tyson with a block punch. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. Commits to the straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Tyson showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. One, two, one, two. Tyson's damaged right now, Teddy. That last round was really costly to him. He can't go on fighting with that. No, not unless he goes back to one of those Star Trek episodes where you had Scotty. Do you remember Scotty used to beam you up? Well, right about now he's saying, Scotty, beam me the heck out of here. Otherwise, he better get his hands up and start fighting. Good combination to the head. Not able to land the headshot. Job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Very accurate two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. A good block by Mike Tyson.
Muhammad Ali is your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tess. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. fight like this that everybody's been talking about. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He just missed that shot up top. Right back to the gut. Good smooth work by Mike Tyson. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was that uppercut, absolutely. What a big shot. Oh, boy, that right hand got right to him and put him down. Good evening, everybody. We welcome you here to the Ten rounds. scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is ten rounds. Eddie, I don't think there's any doubt. You know, there was a lot of talk in the lead up to this fight from his opponent saying, hey, you're a bunch of you. Yeah, hey, look, I'm going to use baseball as an analogy. If you have a power punch, you can throw it 100 miles an hour. But you have another guy who can throw it 100 miles an hour, but he can also throw a curve. He can also hit the corners. He can also throw a changeup. Tyson can do so many more things than his opponent. A good defensive skill with the block by Mike Tyson. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Super two punch combo. A little head hunting with the right. Right hand downstairs. Halfway through this round here. Mike Tyson showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good crisp combo. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that. Wow! He gets floored with one single shot. He was just torn down like an old 
building. This fight over. is over. a shocker here out of nowhere early on a knockout victory and does it with one shot that he never saw alongside teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us we'll see you next time ringside Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for a much anticipated. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Going up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's gonna get knocked out. Stay away from that power. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. You see how effective, you see how much you can control the fight with a jab. That was well done by Mike Tyson. What? Good return fire that time. See, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Ten seconds to go in this round. He stays committed to the body. Ali's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off the space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Listen. I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some... Here we go, round two is underway. The combo lands upstairs.
Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's right hand scores well. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. What a good counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Ali's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Wow, what a right hand from Muhammad Ali. Well, nowadays we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now all of a sudden they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Where with a little discipline, they would have fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't make it. Now you make it so easy, they don't want to make it. But he misses with a... is underway. Little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Good job on the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Carries that punch intended for the head. Resourceful 1-2 combo by Mike Tyson. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He's targeting downstairs time and time again. Tyson's showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Right. Well, things continue like...
Another close and competitive round. Confused, frustrating, he's fighting. And that's what fighters do. Pull Well to the body again. Sends that right to the head. Stay away from the body. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. Throw that away. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. There's the combo downstairs. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Halfway through round six. That's a solid right hand by Mike Tyson. That's classic work with the double jab. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Right to the head with that right. Ali's proving to be elusive. <laughs> Ali's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Mike Tyson's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Good step back now. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. 
Muhammad Ali's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight. And keep pushing, keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Committing to the body work with the double jab. Good block there by Muhammad Ali. Ali's scoring with that right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Mike Tyson's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Double jab by Mike Tyson. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Ali's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. As a matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. Oh, that uppercut got him battling. Tyson's just being swarmed. Big, big shot he just scored with. Blistering combination. The speed of those punches just put him down. They got there quicker than his hands got back to cover. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Get him, get him. And that's the end of round seven. Good, good. He's starting to put himself in a bit of a hole now as we start round number eight and we look at Teddy's scorecard. Mike Tyson's now behind. He's giving up some momentum to his opponent. Yeah, and this is the kind of fight that you can't afford to give up that momentum, that pendulum. You can't let it start swinging in your opponent's direction. Otherwise, it's going to get away from you. Nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodles. Mike Tyson weathered that storm. Now the question to me, does it make Tyson defensive minded? That's good news if it does for his opponent. Still a lot of drama to be played out in this round. Mike Tyson's in better shape than he was moments ago, though. Yeah, physically, I agree with you. He's fine physically. But I got a report in camp about a week ago from some of my spies there that he got dropped in sparring. So, Medley, someone right now is so close to prison. And yet another big shot comes in. Of course, Mike Tyson has a history with being down, but not necessarily out. Will this be like the first knockdown against Buster Douglas or the final one? Mike Tyson respond to that. He's been knocked down, and now he rises up. Relax, relax. Yeah, good work. How about that? Another right hand. Right hand crash 
rushes home. He Reach, never punch. saw it coming. Kick he should tie up. Tyson's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Well, he doesn't look like he's in too good a shape as we come to the end of this round. And you know, the corner has a decision to make here. Not just to tell him to go out there and move your head, but whether or not they should stop this fight. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Unable to land clean by Muhammad Ali. Ali's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Well placed, straight right hand. to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Halfway through the ninth round. Keep moving, keep moving. Two snapping jabs by Mike Tyson. Great movement to get away from those punches. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. And a good solid one-two combo by Mike Tyson. See him zoning in on the target with that double jab. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. He is damaged badly there. He, there it is. Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Tyson's down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. Come on, get to your feet. Tyson's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. I like the way he finished this. Muhammad Ali is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. I'm glad you liked it. And just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it because that means that he's going to be easier to sell now to television. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.
Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Blocked by Mike Tyson. Hey, get out of there. You gotta see that coming, Jeff. Let's go. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructed. How about that left right there? Scored well up top. He is swinging for the fences, trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Cross left now getting into the mix. Good flush shot upstairs. Do you believe that this is the same Isaac Frost that we just saw moments ago? I thought Isaac Frost was going to be down and out. Instead, he recovered. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Good combination. Wow! Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. Get up, man. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has steadied himself back up on his feet. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Solid straight right hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Good job protecting himself. Isaac Cross, the kind of boxer that wants to do it. Oh! How much more can Tyson take on the first time this has happened tonight? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, he survives. So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals. And the ref looks at him and says, no headbutting, hands out the warning. Unable to, oh, a big shot comes home for him. You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson floored by the power punch. Find out exactly what he's made of. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. End of round one. Tyson, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. Well off the mark that time. Able to land the hook to the head. Tyson stumbled back. He's way ahead. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Focus. And it's all over. Mike Tyson's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Wow. The theater of the...
Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds, middleweights going at it between the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya, and Miguel Cotto. Three minutes of this 10 round fight. Landing two jabs by Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. Standing opposite Cotto tonight is a guy that doesn't look to go the distance, looks to come out and see what he can get done because he just does not have the gas tank to keep up with Cotto. No, he doesn't. But Cotto has to really fight off the temptation to get over anxious to end this too quick because he knows that just like you know it and he has to make sure that he still stays with his game plan fires off the hook look at that showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Miguel Cotto's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Dave Hoya's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Goes up top with a right. That's a huge, big, big shot. Comes crashing home. Down he goes in the early goings here. So Cotto goes down, and now he beats the ref's count. He's going to continue on. He's answered the first part of the question, the question that every fighter has answered. He has the heart to get up. Now is he smart enough to survive? Dave Hoya's combination punching is working well here. He needs to improve the accuracy. Of Big shot. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? It's gone by in this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Toto's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude, as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Two snapping jabs by Miguel Cotto. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Cotto's recuperative ability is being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor. To... And bang, and away he goes. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here.
Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Royal London Theater here in London, England, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Well, everybody interested to see what Sugar Ray Robinson brings each and every time in the ring. Teddy, what will you be looking for tonight in facing an unconventional fighter like he is here? Well, to we'll see him make adjustments because that's one of the things that I think uh, you don't look at when you think about Robinson, maybe, maybe, because you look at, there's so many other things to look at. My goodness, I mean, it's like going to one of those uh, big department stores, you know, there's so much stuff, you know, to see in the showcase window to get what's in the back of the, in the inventory. <laughs> and he's got plenty in the inventory. You, you know in the showcase window that he has the speed, he has the power, he has the great chin, but any time it hasn't been met, when he's lost, well, he wins the second time. You know why? And he used to not to pay out. Because he sees something that he can adjust. And that is a great, great weapon, a great asset. So him make adjustments with this guy, you know, as the fight unfolds. Super two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Rock'em, sock'em robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Robinson's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like in other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box. Now the question changes. It's no longer a solid, a non-stop swarming attack puts him down. His opponent feels like he's in a rainstorm. One, two. Jones goes down and is beating the count from the referee. Teddy, what should we be looking for here? For a way to survive. Now, we've talked about how technically Jones does a lot of things wrong. There better be one thing he does right, and that's tie up. Great work offensively landing that combination by Roy Jones. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Jones' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Robinson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good-looking two-punch combination there. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Let's see some more head movement. Got that quick trigger, that little double jab there. Boom, boom. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Jones is trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, 
How much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Just Robinson's nice. putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Jones has got a way of just getting away from that punch. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out. I know how I feel so myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Jones is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Yeah, Up top it. with the right hand. Not able to connect with the uppercut. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Roy Jones. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. So as we start round four, we reflect on the first three, looking at Teddy's scorecards. Robinson's earned good marks, taking all three rounds. Yeah, not eventful some of the rounds. Not a lot to separate the two guys, but I think that his jab has carried the day. Opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because you got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Boxing 101, jab, followed by the straight. Nice. Nice, nice. sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Nice work on the outside by Sugar Ray Robinson. Halfway through round number four. Keep moving, keep moving. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Very nice work with the double jab on top. Fires right back at him. Troy Jones Jr.'s hurt from that. Oh, he's hurt right there. Oh, and there you go. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five, six. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Peck. Made a push, made a pay. Jones's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. Roy Jones Jr.'s hit by a right hand. And now he's tough. Solid.
He's being dominated now. Yes, he got up from that knockdown, but this fight could be over at any moment. You gotta think the referee's taking a look. If he's a good ref, he is, but fighters have come back. As dismal as this looks, as bad as this looks, they have come back from court. There's the combo to the body. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Oh, what will happen now with Ray Robinson because he's still on wobbly legs after getting up after that knockdown. I'll tell you what's probably going to happen. He understands that those legs are not there, so he's not going to try to get on his bicycle to get away. He's probably going to stay right there, move his head, and look to grab. Sugar Ray Robinson has been having great success in these middle rounds thanks to his unique style and raw athleticism. Yeah, he's the kind of guy he's so awkward. I'm glad I'm not in his opponent's corner because I would know what to tell him because he doesn't know what he's doing. How am I going to tell my fighter what to do against a guy who doesn't know what he's doing himself? Teddy, he's been staggered and stunned, and now these flailing arm shots. Yeah, he's going to leave himself more wide open. Right now, he'd be better off not throwing, just defending. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Oh, what a nice right hand by Ray Robinson. Big shot there. He goes down and he doesn't look good at all. Roy Jones Jr. is going to need a minor to survive this. He's going to need a great will and desire to survive it. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Robinson's got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land combinations with ease. Roy Jones Jr. stunned it. Did you see that? How about that? Roy Jones Jr. down after getting tagged by that power punch. Again, knockout victory for him. Sugar Ray Robinson's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of...
Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Max Center for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of middleweight action between Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran. Sugar Ray Leonard's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Roberto Duran's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on his ring walk. Get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Sugar Ray Leonard with a jab. Leonard's putting forth that oh, hard work he did moving. in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Look at that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this, speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. That's a huge right hand from Sugar Ray. Well put together combination by Roberto Duran. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Roberto Duran. Sharp and accurate one-two by Roberto Duran. Final 10 seconds. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great custom model. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those you know, really great trainers and managers you that, that boxing with your whole life. That. I Fit spent seven years with Cosmato, and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Roberto Durant's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Let's go. Oh, a big shot, a big shot comes home for him. And he walks right into it. Leonard showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? 
He takes a step back and the counter punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Good solid one two by Roberto Duran. Use your feet. Blocking a score. There's a straight Keep right hand. Duran's able to avoid that punch. Basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together. A good combo by Roberto Duran. And we come to the end of round number two. Sugar Ray Leonard's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Nothing there on the punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Sugar Ray Leonard's doing good. Roberto Duran's been hurt. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking it. What a big shot. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Duran's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. There's an excellent combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot and comes right back with one of his own. Roberto Duran's combination punching is working well here. That's a good left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Solid right by Roberto Duran. Sugar Ray Leonard's not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Try to go downstairs, but off target. Leonard's right hand scores well that time. Woo! That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards. And, Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. A solid left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thick and long fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 50 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Duran's looking for a way to get this fight back on course. Of course, that can get him a victory. This isn't it. Just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's ruined with that punch right there. Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. Big, big shot he just scored with. Perfectly executed combination. Duran's down. He's going to have to beat the count.
give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Oh, what a whiff by Sugar Ray Leonard. How about a return to center with the left hand? That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Roberto Duran. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them. 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Roberto Duran's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. A crushing two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Nice right after catching one by Roberto Duran. when he sends that right to the head. Good combination to the body. Good looking counter punch. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good work defensively by Sugar Ray Leonard. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Hits him in the mug with the right. Leonard stunned and here, and yet another big shot comes in. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Sugar Ray Leonard's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. And round five comes to an end. You can have the best game plan in the world, but when your eye shuts closed like that, everything changes. The one thing doesn't change, though, and that's the mentality of a warrior. You find a way. You do not give in. You find a way. You concentrate harder, and you see with that one eye what you need to see. Nice block by Roberto Duran. Oh. Leonard's doing everything he wants right now. There it is! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? going to show you something that you don't usually see. Something that usually you need an x-ray machine to see. Inside him. You know outside what he has, all that great talent. Now he's going to show you inside what he has. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand score. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punch. to be out. Now we're going to see what's inside this man. Stand, stand, stand. Two, three, four. Let's go. Get him. Boy, what guts. What guts to get up again. What gets me upset about this guy, Joe, is he's got so much heart. I wish somebody taught him a little bit more because this guy's getting hit with punches he shouldn't get hit with. If you taught him with that heart, you'd have a champion. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. 
Leonard's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Roberto Duran's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that point. He missed it. Oh, he is stuck. Oh! Wow! He goes down again! We're going to be caught the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Time to fight. Scores with the combo to the head. The rap on Frazier's opponent is that he lacks stamina. He won't have to worry about that for long because he will not be around long if you lack stamina with a guy like Frazier because that's his strength. He's going to bring it all Set night. Good looking uppercut that time. Frazier's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Halfway through round number one. Frazier's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Blocks that punch. Good effective work with that straight right hand. You got Took a shot, yourself. now he gives a left. Hey. Joe Frazier doing well here with that two punch combination. Evander Holyfield's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. 
Frazier's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Gotta land a big punch. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Holyfield's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? What about the right hand of Joe Frazier, Tim? No, that's not something that is really his forte. I mean, he will surprise you with it every once in a while, but believe me, he lives and dies with that left hook. by Joe Frazier. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Evander Holyfield. Halfway through round number two. Double jab right to the face. What impact with that uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Final minute of a round that'll go down in the history books. Protecting his head well with his guard. What a nice combo by Evander Holyfield. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Evander Holyfield's strategy of being a volume puncher paid off in that last round. Let's turn this into a fight. And round number three is underway. Bang by an uppercut again. Good double jab by Evander Holyfield. Feels the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Halfway through this round. That's a good block by Joe Frazier. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. A headshot blocks. right now with that two-punch combo. And now he's been spoken to about the low blows. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Evander Holyfield. And we come to the end of the round. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in volume.
Holy Field's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished himself to any great amount so far. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Joe Frazier. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Nice work, nice work. Right hand by Evander Holyfield. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Evander Holyfield. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. The old one-two scores for him. Huge left hand from Smokin' Joe. Fourth round now with his last ten seconds. Joe Frazier's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. It is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. He needs to slip to the left. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Little volume punching to the body there. Wow, what an uppercut. Good double jab by Evander Holyfield. Huge right hand from Holyfield. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Evander Holyfield. Looking good. Frazier's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Evander Holyfield's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Frazier's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Holyfield's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top. To no, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. End of the round, and that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything, you know. He wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While well, he's being so conservative, you can just outwork him a little. Little head knocking with that right hand.
Ooh, snap punch by Joe Frazier. Nice work doubling up that jab. Frazier's got to figure out a way to do something. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, Joe Frazier is hurt here. He went down from that power punch. Boy, his opponent is just fearless. Go